Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning out here on the creek. Fog over the creek. Just a little bit cooler today. I could actually enjoy a campfire. It's nice to get close to that feeling. Looking forward to fall coming, but... Sarah's starting to make some pancakes back at camp. And uh, we're gonna eat some breakfast. My little buddy with me. He's all snuggly in the mornings. But uh, we're gonna eat some breakfast and hang around for a little bit and hit the road again. We've got a long trip with our detour today, so should be interesting. Well, it's hard to beat pancakes and coffee by a creek at camp. It's just hard to beat, isn't it, kids? Yeah. Good pancakes? Yeah. Good hot chocolate? Really pretty little fish here. Really pretty fish, little bluegill. Let him go. Well, they're certainly not biting like they were last night, but look at this creek. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go upstream just a little bit further and try a new spot. Just see if I might catch something up here. Man, it's so peaceful out here. Might not be back at camp, but it is down here at the water. Look at that. Pretty, pretty colors. Pretty fish.
look at this guy. I believe this is a white bass. I'm not a fish expert. I've actually never caught one of these, but it's very, very pretty fish. Man. Pretty fish. Pretty exciting. I've never caught one of these. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is a white bass, but I'm not sure. Really not sure, because I'm not a fish expert. Man. That was pretty cool. And we'll let him go now. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Love it. Well, I really need to head back to camp. I've been gone for a while. Too long. Sarah's back there with all the kids. Man, I could stay out here and fish all day. It is beautiful. And there's some big fish in this pool. I've seen some big bass. There's some gar in there, too. But it is, it is beautiful. I love it. I, I really like fishing. I'm not, I'm not gonna claim to be a good f fisherman, but I enjoy it and I love creek fishing. I, I'll fish in a creek over anything else, I think. It is just beautiful. I could literally spend all day walking the creek and fishing. So, if you enjoy this, and you wanna see more, let me know. Drop us a comment. Maybe I'll take a couple of the kids and do a day trip fishing, hiking and fishing a creek or something like that. We can't find it. But man, it's, it's just beautiful. I just, I love the creeks. It's the best thing to do in Arkansas in the summer. But don't tell anyone that because they'll all be out here and I won't have a place to go. pretty bluegill out there. There's a big bass in this pool as well. Pretty, pretty fish. There's you a largemouth right there. That's a pretty big, pretty fish, big fish. Kind of looks like it's had a, I don't know, it's got a funny shape to it. Its back has a funny shape. Man, whoo, that's a good fish right there. All right, we're gonna let this big guy go. That's why it's so hard to stop. I was just walking back, I was like, I'll cast in here one more time. Wham! Hit that big guy. Oh, I love it. So much fun. Sarah got 90% of the camp packed up while I was fishing. Shows how much of a, a bum I am. But we're going to go for a walk down the other direction down the creek and see what's down here. All the way.
we're packed up and it's time to head out again if we can get out of here we got a long ways to go today big detour so we're going to roll back out to the highway head north on the highway and then come back in from the north side down to the white oak mountain white rock white rock mountain area really cool area we're going to head up there and eventually get there we just got a long ways to go since we've got two roads from this area that are closed getting there so should be interesting see if we can make it Stopped off here at an overlook. We're going up the Pig Trail, Highway 23, so it's real steep and pretty, really pretty area. Check out this view. Have I not told you the Ozarks are beautiful? They sure are. We're gonna keep rolling on up. We still got a ways to go up the highway. Well, I'm airing back down. We just hit dirt road a minute ago. Really pretty area out there here. Some beautiful places, but we're gonna be on dirt road for a while. So far, no road closed signs. So that's a good sign, but we'll see if we can make it down to the right White Rock Mountain area. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down to the White Rock Mountain. It's a National Forest Recreation Area that we're gonna pull up in here. And this 
The drive up here is beautiful. In every direction I've ever come from here is beautiful. Just the mountains here are pretty cool. We might have to do a video just on the White Rock Mountain area at some point, but pretty cool area. Let's see what we can see. Now, we got our day use permit, his little gift store here, and a neat old water tower. It's pretty, pretty cool looking. We're gonna go down to the day use overlook area and find a spot to eat. Time for some lunch. Having some sandwiches and cheese and crackers and some apple. Then we'll look around some more. We're gonna walk over here and look at the overlook. There's a few cabins here and some camp spots and a little lodge thing. Pretty neat area. I've only been up here one other time, a long time ago. So we'll probably come up here and camp at some point and hike. There's a rim trail here. There's some waterfalls in this area too. So we'll come back another time and do a full White Rock Mountain area at some point. But for today, we're just gonna walk down this path and go take a look at the main overlook. Pretty incredible view from here. I mean, this, this view rivals about any other in the state. It's more mountains than, say, like something off of Nebo or Pettigene. You're looking down onto other mountains. But, man. It's, it's a nice view. Very cool place. Well, we're gonna head on out despite the beautiful views. We've still got a ways to go before we get to Lake Fort Smith, but we're really on our last leg of the journey at this point, so getting pretty close. But we will come back here another time and give you a full thing on White Rock Mountain, hike the trail, see what waterfalls we can find to explore while we're here, things like that. So stay tuned for that. I have no idea when, but one of these days. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need
back to pavement I think we're almost to Lake Fort Smith we're just passing through a lot of private property countryside but it's really really pretty none, nonetheless just passed an old sawmill but we'll be back to pavement in Lake Fort Smith and have completed our journey here very shortly hit pavement we're probably a half mile from Lake Fort Smith so we'll roll over there and show you what I look around a little bit we're gonna go in here to the visitor center and take a look around and get the kids a little state park book stamp I think we'll come back in camp here at some point but we're gonna go ahead and do it while we're here. We can cross this one off of our bucket list temporarily. We'll Super. just come back and we'll put it back on the bucket list as soon as we leave so we can come back and camp. We're gonna camp at all the state parks, not just visit it. At least all the ones that can camp. But this is supposed to be a pretty nice visitor center. What do you guys think? I'm thinking this could be our next overland rig. Very original. What do you think, dear? Our next overlanding rig. Probably not quite as comfortable. <laughs> We're over here at the day use area. There's a nice pavilion, some little covered picnic tables, which is good because there's no shade out here. And there's the lake. Pretty lake. We'll walk over there closer to it. We're letting the kids out on the playground for a little bit till they get too hot. We're already too hot. It's quite warm. But I'm going to go ahead and air up the tires on the vehicle because they've been running aired down since earlier when we hit the dirt road. And I'm gonna kind of crawl around under it a little bit and just look things over before we hop on the highway to head home. Make sure nothing's come loose or anything like that, especially since I did some work the other day. 
we put a lot of dirt road miles on it so i'm just gonna look things over and check it out before we get out to high speeds on the highway so but that's what we're gonna do we'll show you the lake a little closer in a minute oh, here's the lake lake fort smith pretty pretty little lake it's just for fishing it's a water reservoir so it's just for you can go fishing and stuff on it but no swimming jet skis skiing that kind of stuff so it's a uh, not like some of your lakes but so you can we'll come back and camp and fish here another day all right well, that wraps up our trip we're going to leave out from here and head home we went all the way from the far east edge of the ozark national forest all the way to lake fort smith and actually just past this is where we'll hit the highway where the technical Ozark National Forest ends going west. But that wraps up this trip. Four days. It's been a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of creeks and hang out in them. And oh, I feel like if we restocked on a few things, we could just keep going. Like, yeah. We kind of got settled in. Could just We could just keep going. But it's a really good trip. Um, hope that you enjoyed it. We are going to get the Patreon account up and running and get the route on it. If anybody's interested, you can go look into that. And I think that's about it. We're going to head home. So we'll see you next time.